gotta get that thumbnail. <laughs> this is a workout, man. Oh, so many purses. Ah. Hey, dolls. So it is finally time to do my purse collection. This is a highly requested video and I kept putting it off and putting it and putting, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off because I have so many bags. But before I get into showing you guys all of my purses, I just want to let you guys know that this is a sponsored video by Poshmark. I love Poshmark so much. It is a super convenient app to either sell your own used goodies from your closet or your handbags or even your shoes. Or you can also get on there and purchase items like I have with a couple of my bags. I have purchased them from sellers on Poshmark. Right now I do have some purses that you guys will see in this video up on my Poshmark closet which you guys can see right here on the screen so basically what Poshmark is is it is an app where like I said you can just get on there and either sell some of your items that are either you know new or gently used or you can even get on there and purchase items yourself. For example, if you want to purchase one of the purses that I'm going to be showing guys in today's video, it will be on there. Super easy to use. You can get on there, make an account, just set up your own closet. And the best thing about the Poshmark app is that it is 100% free to download, but you will use real money in the app when making purchases. However, the app itself is completely free to download, and you guys can do so by using the link in the description box below. And if you guys have your own Poshmark closets where you are selling your own items, please leave your links to your closets or your closet names in the comment section down below so that everybody can check it out and so I can check it out as well because I'm constantly on Poshmark when I'm getting ready to go to bed. I always get on there and just kind of browse around a little bit. It's really fun and it's awesome to be able to get designer items like Michael Kors or Louis Vuitton or Adidas or Nike. It's cool to get these brand names at super affordable prices prices because they could be gently used so people are selling them for a little bit more affordable pricing. So getting into the purses, this is probably going to be a fairly long video. So grab a snack, get comfortable, watch this while you do your makeup in the morning or what have you while you're getting ready for work, getting ready for school because this is gonna be a long one guys. I'm gonna try not to go into too much detail with each of the bags just for the simple fact that if I do this video could be hours long and I don't necessarily want to do that. So quit my jibber jabbing about this intro. Let's get on into the purses. The first ones I'm gonna show you are the ones that I have for sale up on my Poshmark. So again you can use the link in the description box below and then go to my closet. I will also have my closet linked and you can check out any of these purses and buy them from me if you want to. So the first one I think you guys have seen quite a few times floating around the internet. It is a super cute little cat bag and this is the black one. I got this and I never ended up actually using it so I think I might have used it once but it's like brand new pristine condition. The strap that it comes with still has the original rubber band on it. I haven't even taken it off or taken it apart or anything but it does have that long strap that you can connect at the sides right here on both of these little loops and then it does also have the short handles as well. So that is one of the bags that I have up for sale on my Poshmark. Next up is this adorable little light blue one. Uh, I don't remember where I got this either. I, it, I never really ended up using it because I was going to get a pink one, but the company accidentally sent me blue instead. So I never really used it. So you can see the inside just looks like this. Still very good beautiful condition. There is a back zipper and it also has a really long strap that you can adjust and then the bottom also has these little foot pegs so the bottom doesn't get dirty if you were to have it pretty full and set on a solid surface. It's a beautiful like powdery blue though. You guys know me, I love pink or like lilac so I haven't really had too much use for this purse but you can find it on my Poshmark. The next bag that is on my Poshmark is this adorable little lacy one. 
Um, I've seen these kind of all over the internet as well. This one does c come with a uh, long strap, so you can connect it to those little loops as well. It is inside right here. I did use this once, and it was, I used it during my first meet and greet, which was like forever ago, like three or four years ago, but it like still beautiful condition. It's very well kept, and the outside has no weird marks or staining that I could find because it's literally just been sitting in a storage compartment under my bed for like years and I just never used this so I figured why not sell it so there's that one the next one we have you guys might remember quite a few years ago from a Ross haul that I did oh I just hit myself in the face with that zipper but this is a guess purse and it has these beautiful like braided handles very cute the inside is yet again still in pristine condition this is guess brand uh, I did get it from Ross I got it because I was just kind of infatuated with the fact that I could get a designer handbag at Ross and that I just never really used it this one does not come with a long shoulder strap because there is nowhere to really connect it to but it does come with this adorable little key ring thing this little tassel and then there is a long piece that sticks to the zipper so it's easy to zip and then this is what the back looks like I always thought it looked kind of like a little face like <laughs> but yeah it's still practically mint condition <clears throat> it's just been sitting under my bed in a storage container along with the other ones but that one is up on my Poshmark 2 Okay, and then two more bags that are up on my Poshmark. You guys, if you've been following me for a long amount of time, you may remember when I went to my local county fair and my boyfriend bought this for me. He's now my fiance, but I was with the same guy years and years and years ago, and you guys may remember this. The, the handles have kind of warped a little bit just from sitting in, like, storage, but they are still, like... You can kind of like re-bend them back into place. But this I got at the county fair quite a few years ago and I loved it so much. But I I literally only used this like three or four times. So again, let me unzip it. The inside, it's kind of a like tougher material. Oh yeah, I used this a, a few times. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit of... Uh, usage inside it's not like that it's just like a little bit of glitter it's not like severe staining or anything like that and also the straps right here i'm going to show you they have a little bit of peeling or wear on them so just be aware of that if you are purchasing this bag I'll have this one up on my poshmark for a pretty decent price since it is kind of more heavily used than the other ones and then the last one is another kind of cutesy girly one. I got this from Claire's. It's all like, ugh. it needs to be like manipulated back into shape because like I said, it's just been sitting under in storage, but it is a Palace Pets purse. And I got this a few years ago when I started getting super attached to Palace Pets. And I still love Palace Pets. It's just the simple fact that these bags are too small for me. Like, I am a type of person who wants a huge, like, suitcase bag. And to have, like, this puny, tiny little thing, I just would never use it. Because I can't fit everything in it that I want to. But if you're someone who just carries around maybe a wallet and your phone, this is perfect because it's just so simple and tiny. It's still practically mint condition like I said a billion times it's just it's really cute it has cute little charms right here but you can see it has the Disney princesses and their little pets and it has silver and hot pink details the bottom is silver and it just looks like so it's very adorable to just kind of like carry around it is like a children's purse so if you have maybe a daughter or a granddaughter and or a little sister or something and you're looking to get them maybe a Christmas present you know that they love palace pets I'll put this one up there for a decent price as well just because I know someone somewhere will use this. It's just too tiny for me. So those are all of the bags that I have up for sale on my Poshmark. Now on to the bags that I continue to use and I am not going to be giving away or selling right now. Um, I might sell them in the future, but for right now, all of these purses that I'm going to be showing you are not for sale. 
So I'm just gonna go in no particular order at all whatsoever. Uh, starting with this one, I have kind of two sides to myself and you guys could tell just by looking at this bag, it's like, whoa, what the heck is that? Why does Manda 314 or have that wolf freaky looking bag? Um, I love this purse actually so much. My mom got it for me a couple years ago for my birthday and I fell in love with it because wolves are my favorite animals. And I found this online, but I cannot for the life of me remember the website I got it off of. Maybe there's a tag in here that says, uh, it just says Spiral, spiraldirect.com. Maybe that's where you can get it still. I have no idea. But the inside just looks like this. It reminds me of, of, of a bag that you would see in like the grunge section in Hot Topic. But I love this one because you can zip up the sides so you can make it a little bit smaller or more compact like this. Or you can have them open so it's more like a tote. And I used this purse so much when I first got it. But now like my main aesthetic is just like pink cutesy stuff. But if I were to have maybe a black dress and some boots or something on, maybe I'll gravitate towards this purse just because it's a little bit more dark. Funny story behind this bag. I was actually in Walmart one day in the kind of pharmacy aisle where like the medications were and stuff. And there was this little girl. She must have been like five or six years old. And I just walked past her and I heard her go, <gasps> mommy wolf and she was like scared of my bag and I felt so bad so every time that I've been going somewhere or every time that I went somewhere where there were young children and I didn't want them to get freaked out by this I would turn it around and wear it backwards just to you know be courteous to others because I didn't want that to happen again I felt so bad that I scared this little girl Anyway, yeah, there's that bag. And then this purse you guys had seen a bajillion years ago on my channel. I got this off of eBay. I usually use this purse during the time of the county fair because it's kind of like that style. And I am a very firm country girl at heart. I know I don't look it on the outside, but I was raised this way. <laughs> This is still a little piece of my heart as well, so don't be afraid to have different styles and experiment with different types of clothing or colors. Just go out of your comfort zone because it's okay to have more than one style. And then I have this bag that is faux fur. I want to make sure that is very clear. This is fake fur. This is not real by any means. I got this, I think it was off of dresslink.com when I did a collaboration with them a couple years, a few years ago. But this one is just, I love this bag. I think it's perfect for winter because it's just so warm and fuzzy and it's got lots of different straps on it and it's just very cozy and I like it again it kind of reminds me of like a wolf or a coyote so that's why I've gra I gravitated towards it back in the day but yeah it's pretty cool I haven't used this one but like two or three times I think I don't know I'm really bad at buying purses but then like not using them because I tend to use my favorite ones like all the time rather than like switch them out a lot I do switch my purses out fairly often I'll do like week on week off but I don't like switch them out every day like a phone case or anything like that so I tend to just gravitate towards my favorites and then the other ones just kind of get tucked away in storage under my bed or something Okay, this one right here is another one that I got from Ross. It is just black and it has this quilted pattern with some tassels. There is a long strap, some short handles, and this brand on here, there is no brand. I'm not quite sure. I used to use this purse a lot when I first got it, um, but just looks like so. I love this as kind of a winter bag or a fall bag because it is black and darker, but I love the material on this one. I love bags that aren't necessarily structured, but that you that just kind of flop around. Like those are my favorite types of bags. So I definitely still love this one. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys a couple of cross bodies that I have. This one right here, I think I got from either AMI Clubwear dot com or dresslink.com one of those but it is a very super cute sweet lolita-esque type crossbody bag i wish that these little handles were detachable or something but just this long strap is uh, this is very cute if you're just you know 
running to the store real quick and all you really need is your ID and your cash or whatever. So it's fairly small. This would also be perfect for um, like theme park goers, like if you're going to Disneyland or something because it's very tiny but you can still fit essentials in it that you have to have. Um, I didn't carry a big purse with me when I went to Disneyland. I carried a backpack which you guys will see in a few. But yeah, I got this one and it's very cute. It has a little bow on there and it kind of reminded me of like just like Sweet Lolita in general or like something that uh, Angelic Pretty would release. But obviously this is a lot like lower quality. Very cute though. Still love that. The next crossbody I have is this Betsy Johnson one I got at Ross. You can see it is the blush quilted detail. Says, um, uh, what does it say? Love Betsy by Betsy Johnson. Just like that. It came with this little tassel and this cute little charm right there a long strap and I will say that when I got this it was way too long so I actually took some of the links off and made it a little bit shorter and then here's what the inside looks like very cute again this is one to just take if you're just running to the store and you don't really need to take a lot of stuff with you it's just kind of just easy peasy lemon squeezy and then this one right here you guys saw in my la style rush handbag haul this is another betsy bag this is one of the phone crossbody bags i went into detail in my la style rush video but i'll go ahead and show you guys the inside has roses on it very beautiful my choice to get this was basically like i wanted this more as a novelty rather than something i'm actually going to use on a day-to-day -day basis just because like i said before i like larger purses and this one is just so like artsy to me and i would love to have this for like photographs or simply just to have it sitting on the shelf i know some people are like well why would you spend money on something like that if it's just going to sit on the shelf but some people prefer that. Some people like to just have cute things that they can just look at all the time and it makes them happy. And this is really cool because this phone can actually plug into the headphone jack of your mobile device and it actually functions. You can literally talk back and forth and use your mobile phone through this if you wanted to be a little extra while you're in public. Uh, but for me, like I said, it was basically just for photographs and a little novelty collectible. Now I'll go ahead and show you guys the other bags that I got from LA Style Rush because you guys know I am obsessed with these little guys right here. These are the Loungefly Marie bags. I got these from LAStyleRush.com. They no longer carry them, but I think you can get them on the Hot Topic website and maybe the Loungefly website. Not 100% sure, but as you can see, they are Marie from the Aristocats. This is just the mini backpack and the reason I'm showing a couple backpacks in this video is because some of these backpacks I like to use as handbags or as purses. I do have quite a few other backpacks that are like larger that are like true backpacks uh, that I would take on trips or something like that but these I would use like typically in a day-to-day -day lifestyle carrying a purse around so this is definitely one that I use frequently as well as this this is one of my ultimate favorite 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 purses I just love Loungefly bags so much they are such good quality and they just make such cute designs I will go ahead and show you though um, there is a little bit of wear. I'm not sure if you can tell right there, but if you look at the front, it's pretty seamless. Whereas on the back, it's starting to kind of fade away and look a little bit more grainy. That's just from the bag rubbing on my clothing. Um, like I said, I've been using this constantly since I got it, so that could be the reason for that wear. I also just realized that there are a couple like maybe chocolate spots on the front right here. Let's just hope that's chocolate. Uh, I do work at a bakery, so more than likely it's chocolate. But yeah, I'm, I'm so proud and happy of how well this bag is holding up. I just love Loungefly bags and purses and everything so much because they're such good quality. 
another lounge fly bag I have to show you guys is this uh, G4 My Little Pony one right here. I've had this for years. I got this at Fuego in the mall years and years and years ago, I believe. I also ordered the G1 My Little Pony lounge fly bag off of Amazon, but I ended up just selling that one lately because I didn't like the shape of it. It was too structured for me and it was very boxy and I just didn't really like it. So I ended up selling that one. Um, but I still have this one. I have like a bunch of stuff. Like, do you guys do that? When you use a purse and then you just put it away, do you still leave some of the stuff in it or do you take everything out? There's just a bunch of stuff still in here. There's like, oh my gosh, there's... Okay, these should probably be thrown away. These are Duo Fruit Cool Raspberry flavored. I don't even know how long these have been in here. I need to junk those. I need to go through all of these purses after this video and just deep clean them all because they've just been sitting under my bed with all of this stuff in them, which is probably not healthy. But yeah, this is one of my favorite bags as well because it is lounge fly. I love My Little Pony. It is near and dear to my heart. So there is that one. I'm not sure if you can still get that these days. I have no idea. If you know where to get that bag, please leave it in the comments below to help other people out. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here's another lounge fly bag. This one was actually sent to me by a subscriber but I believe you could get this on boxlunch.com if they still have it or possibly the Loungefly website but this was a backpack that I used as my carry-on when I went to Disneyland and it works really well as a purse too because it does have these little handles at the top which you can use as a purse or you can use the backpack straps um, as a backpack so it does have this big front pocket here Marie from the little Aristocats with the little milk carton, which is very cute. And then it has the big main pocket right there with a couple like little cell phone pouches and stuff on the inside there. It's more towards salmon than blush, I think, but it's very cute and I do love this bag so much. And while we're on the topic of backpacks, I'll just show you all of the other ones that I have. This is my Ida bag that you guys saw my DIY tutorial video about. If you want to see how I decked out the inside of this, I did take out some of the items because just practicality, it was a little bit too bulky and it kind of was a little heavy in there with some like actual physical My Little Ponies. So I did take some of the items out, but it is still very, very cute and I I ordered this bag I think off of either AliExpress or Amazon you can get them all over the place you can just search transparent heart backpack or eat a bag ITA is how it's spelled and you can basically decorate the inside however you want because it's just a little clear window but there you can see mine is my little pony and yeah it's just pink these they make these in lots of different colors there is that and then this bag right here, which was the backpack that I used when I went to Disneyland recently. I still have some of my Disney pins on it. It did not come with those pins. I put those on there. Those are all just Disney pins. I got this bag off of eBay. I know a lot of people were asking me about it. If you just search like fur rabbit backpack or fur bunny backpack on eBay, it should pop up or even like AliExpress or Amazon. Um, it is very cute. I love how plushy it is. And it got really dirty when I was in California, but I just love it. I love using this just as a regular purse. It's just so fun and different. So there is that. Definitely one of my favorite bags that I own. And then these two backpacks, every time I use them or wear them, I always get... Oh, this one has a mark on its nose. I always get so many comments and questions about where did I get these? How can I get these? Where are they from? These are animal plush backpacks. They are the Aurora brand. Um, let me show you one of the tags so you know what I'm talking about. Aurora. And I got one of these in a city about four hours away from me at a gift shop when I was like 10 years old, <laughs> like I've had this one, this Husky one for so long. 
and you can see it just opens up and it has so much room in there that's why I love these so much for just trips or just as a person in general because there's so much room in them this little guy has a mark on his nose so I need to kind of clean that but this one right here this is a little pink and white Shih Tzu dog I actually found this one on eBay someone was selling it I got it probably a year or so ago and she is just so precious it's the exact same brand and style as my husky one from years and years ago and she's just so soft and I love the little purple bow and I want to show you guys like the expressive eyes she even has eyelashes it gets hidden by her fur and then uh some purple hair bows but you guys know my dog rebel he is a shih tzu so when i saw this i absolutely had to have it it was like 35 dollars or something like that but it's pristine condition the owner that had it before me had never even used it so i got a super good deal on it i think and it's just very cute i think the brand made various different animals as well not just dogs maybe there's some pandas or horses or something but they are definitely kind of hard to find in store nowadays so if you look on places like ebay or poshmark or depop you can find them probably like secondhand used and they're just ah these are so cute i love these these are some of my, my, my most cherished little backpacks Okay, we only have a few more left to go. These are the actual, like, size of handbags that I prefer to use. This mint one right here I got from Walmart a few years back has the strap. This is usually my go-to style of handbag is, like, the two handles and then the long shoulder strap. Then that way I can either carry it on my arm right here or use this strap to carry it on my shoulder. But yeah, this just little mint one was from Walmart. You can find similar ones to that at Target. An example of one is this one right here. I'll show you guys in comparison. This is my hot pink Marona handbag that my friend Tanya gifted me um, quite a few years ago. But it is from uh, it is from Target. I was about to say it's from Bath and Body Works okay but it's so cute it does have a long shoulder strap as well but it is hot hot pink it is not coming off hot pink on camera it's coming off kind of muted but in person this is like neon in your face like traffic cone neon pink and i am obsessed with it i think this was a video or i showed this in a video at one point i think it was in a what's in my purse quite a while back uh, but there is that one it's very similar to the walmart one Okay, and I think I have three more that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, this one I actually scored recently at Goodwill. I got it for $10, and it was literally brand new, like never used. I saw this like a few aisles away, and I ran to it, and I checked the inside, and I saw that it was 10 bucks, and so I had to get it. It's just so like sequiny and beautiful. I haven't used this bag yet. I've been too like... I've been meaning to, but I've been so addicted to my Marie bag and my Betsy Johnson bags that I just don't ever grab this one, and I need to because it's just so extra and just sparkly and Barbie and it's just me. It's me in a handbag and I am obsessed with it. The last two bags, I'm going to save the best for last because it's... Oh, it's neck and neck with the Marie bag. It is like my favorite bag I've ever owned. But this one right here is the one that I'm currently using. I just recently got this from AmritaSing.com. I had a metallic purse from them years and years and years and years ago. And it was the same style except it was like a silver metallic color but it was the exact same design and I wanted to get a pink one and they had them on sale these bags are originally at full value $120 because they are designer but they were having a massive like fall clearance sale and I managed to pick it up for eight bucks so I definitely got it however however I would never ever ever pay however I would never pay $120 for this purse. I've had this purse, I want to say one and a half to two weeks, and this is happening. 
on both sides. And I said that I like to have big bags because I like to carry my whole house with me, but this is no excuse. Like this is a designer bag. This should be able to hold up. And I think it's because it's such a softer material than the one that the metallic one that I had years ago was made with. So I think that could have a lot to do with it. But the color is beautiful. I wish it were a little bit more vibrant. When I first got it, I was really let down because I was expecting like bubblegum pink. But it's more like the color of my hair, which is why I think the color is okay because it will always match me no matter what I'm wearing as long as I have this color hair. <laughs> so that's kind of convenient. But I have my little Kori Lakuma plush on here and my Marie little hand sanitizer that I got off of eBay. I just kind of have those on the side in case you're wondering where those are from. Uh, but yeah, this is the purse that I've been using lately, but you can see how like big and heavy I like my purses to be. If you guys want to see a what's in my purse video, I will link it on the screen right here. It's rarely changes. I usually carry the same thing in my purses all the time, unless I'm carrying a smaller bag, then I'll usually just have my wallet and maybe my keys and my phone. And that's pretty much about it. But on average, it pretty much stays the same. So if you want to see what's in my purses, you can go check out that video. We have one more bag and then we're done with this video. <laughs> And this is my holy grail, my beautiful, precious baby. This is my Quilted Hearts Blush Betsy Johnson bag. I had been looking for this purse. I also mentioned this in a What's in My Purse a billion years ago, it feels like. But a lot of people ask me, you know, where'd you get your purse? Where'd you get your purse? And I wish I had like an easy answer for you guys, but I went into detail in that other video, but I'll go ahead and mention it now because some of you guys are new to my channel. Uh, this purse they no longer make. It is a very much an older style. It originally came with a leopard bow on the side of it right here. Uh, but I believe it's just the blush Quilted Hearts Betsy Johnson was what I found it as on Poshmark. I ended up finding it on Poshmark after, I kid you not, I was probably looking for this purse for over a year or two. And I finally found it on Poshmark for $30. It was gently used, so it's still very, very good condition. The inside has roses on it, and it's just so beautiful. I love this bag so much. It is one of my ultimate, ultimate, like, favorite, favorite, favorites, and half of the reason because of that is because it was so hard to find. Like, I feel like it's very rare, and to me, like, that makes it more special is because it's definitely more rare. So if you are trying to get your hands on this, I'm sorry. I don't know where you can get it. I, the reason I found it was because I uh, put out a tweet or something and I said, can someone please help me find this bag? I, this was before I even had any Betsy Johnson purse of any sort and I just really wanted a Betsy bag but I wanted to get the one that I had my heart set on for so long and someone tweeted me back the Poshmark link to the seller who was selling this and I bought it instantly I was like 30 bucks for a Betsy bag that's good condition that's rare and hard to find sign me up let's check out like I I'm so excited. I'm still to this day. I'm so happy about it. My little uh, Apocasso plush right here, this little keychain is from Yume Twins. They sent it to me in a box. And then this little pom pom is from Walmart. And then this little pastel cutesy keychain is from Sweet Escape Deco on Instagram. I've done, I think I did a, a phone case review for her before but yeah her stuff is really cute and she makes these little purse charms as well or little phone charms and yeah that is my my holy grail one of my ultimate favorites I would have to say this one the lounge fly Marie and the hot pink Marona are my top three handbags in my collection that I have. Those are my three go-tos that I'm constantly using and I have been only been using this one because it's new and it's always fun to use a new handbag but I'm probably going to switch out soon because that one's getting worn out already uh, and I'll probably switch back to either this one or my Marie bag but yes I'm going to go ahead and end this because this video is probably crazy long.
along. Don't forget to download the Poshmark app for free in the description box below. Set up your own closet, put up your own items for sale, make some extra cash. It's really simple. And don't forget to check out my closet as well if you want to get your hands on any of the purses I showed in the beginning of the video. And with that being said, I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Okay, bye! Oh, also leave me a comment in the comment section down below what your favorite purse was that I showed in this video. Okay, now I'm gonna let you guys go. Bye!